woke up at five. We're here. You're just too tall. I don't know. I don't know. We're in our probably well, probably not our last room stop. We'll probably have to get gas again one more time. But we're getting gas, and then we're going on the road. Headed out. We're headed out. And so Sunny is all packed in there. Hi, buddy. And our car is packed to the absolute brim. And we only have a whopping 12 hours and 45 minutes. and we're really tired. <laughs> I don't think the waking up at 5.30 was the issue. I think it was the going to bed when we went to bed. Yeah, we went to bed at midnight. All day. But I got paperwork done, which is what I needed to do. So that was good, I guess. But now we're finishing packing up. And we get to drive 13 something. I don't even remember. I think it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty, 13 and a half, half, I think you said. I think. 13 and a half. So, um, we're doing pretty good. The drive yesterday was uneventful, which was awesome. Um, we ended up taking nice breaks, so we did uh, three hours, so, you know, and then swap after three hours, mm -hmm. and that seemed to work really good for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't have issues. I mean, don't get me wrong, we woke up today and we're like, oh my gosh, our backs, but besides that, we were good. Yeah. You wanna show him Sunny? He looks very confused about what's going on. Oh, yes. He's a very good boy, though, but. Sunny. Were you not a great hotel pup last night? Did you bark at every noise you heard? Because you said, I don't know what's going on. And obviously my mom and dad are in danger. Yeah, were you in danger? He's very quiet. Yeah, well good, it's five, almost six o'clock. He should be quiet. <laughs> That's right, normal people are sleeping. Hopefully he'll sleep in the car though. Oh yeah, he didn't sleep at all yesterday. No, not till the very end. Yeah, right, until, until it, it got dark, dark right? <laughs> oh, we said <laughs> then the circadian rhythm kicked in. As we said, he either Tucker, he finally, after pure exhaustion, finally went to sleep, or he's like, well, it's dark, so I guess I'll sleep in my right body. It's a good boy though.
No, we're good. Thank you. So we're uh, we're on the road again. It's almost nine, it's almost nine here. Um, ten and ten at home, and uh, I just wanted to say we're we're in Texas right now. We're just coming out of Amarillo, I think, and uh, it is so flat out there. It's crazy how flat it is. It's very crazy. Because, I mean, coming from New York... It's not flat from New York. Where there's mountain ranges and things. And and you would never, ever, ever see the horizon unless you were at, like, the ocean. And to be able to basically see the horizon because of how flat the land is, is... Crazy. Bonkers to me. The only thing that makes sense to me now is how... Not easy, but how much, um, I'll say, how much easier it would be when they did the, the train, the first train across. Right, yeah. Yeah, the train, like, this must have been the easiest rail, tr like, railroad to set up. Because, I mean, there's no give in the land. Like, it's flat for a long, long time. That's crazy. Um, let's see. So, we had breakfast at the hotel. Eggs were not great, but I mean, that's, you know, hotel stuff. Um, trying to think. There was a lot of bacon, and bacon's always good. Bacon's always very good. Um, the Cheerio canister exploded on you. The Cheerio canister did not explode on me. It didn't explode. Uh, I just didn't understand. So instead of like turning it and it comes out in little bits, it was a faucet. <laughs> so uh, let's just say I ended up with two bowls of cereal um, and a little mess that I may not have actually fully cleaned up. But <laughs> that comes with the territory, I hope. Um, so got a little doggy over here. He's very sleepy. Hey, Sunny. He's very good. And then Katie's up there driving. And hopefully the last day of a long drive, then we'll finally be able to relax. But the most important part is we're headed to the Grand Canyon. Um, so once we get there, we'll have that, uh, that helicopter ride. That's going to be very fun. David, talk about the cool dog park that we just had. The cool dog park. So, um, for one of our gas slash restroom stops, we stopped at um, an on-queue. And this one apparently was a very special on-queue because they had a dog park um, out back. And, and people were there with their dogs and everything, but they had these two huge dog statues. One of, I think, a French bulldog or an English bulldog? It was some sort of shorter, stockier. Bulldog. Like a shorter, stockier bulldog, almost. And then, uh, I think, just a, a lab. Yeah. Or a golden retriever or something. But the cool thing is that the, normally, the dog parks are just these little fenced-in areas that, you know, oh, you know, you can let your dog these had tubes and like the teeter totters and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I said, we'll have to make a mental note to stop there earlier in the day on our way back. Cause I would love to have Sunday run through the courses. I think that would be so much fun. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, all, all kinds of agility Windmills. stuff. Oh, there we go. 
Windmills for miles. We have the best, we have the, uh, the scary night footage, but. We do have the scary night footage. Uh, once we come back over the ridge here a little bit, I'll show you those windmills. They are all over the place out there. Cool. I was really cool. hoping we would see them in the daytime. <laughs> Me too. Very, very cool. And much less ominous without the lights. <laughs> so, anything else you want me to talk about? All right. Uh, then I think I will say goodbye. <laughs>